Hello. Sag. I feel like I'm a little close to you right now. And I feel like Catfish Billy is just a little too close, you know? Back up, back up. Tell me what you're gonna do now. Keep rolling, rolling. <laughs> I love Fred Burst. There you go, buddy. Give me a little bit of the screen. Okay. I hope this is a good message. I obviously don't know because I haven't channeled it yet. What are we going to use? These ones? Okay. Okay. You know what music I hate the most? Top 40. It's just like, what kind of song gets into your head and plays and plays and plays? A brainwashing song. Just remember that. Top 40, it's awful music for a reason. People like Beyonce should die. <laughs> I've said it. There you go. She's like the worst person in the world. One of the worst people in the world. She shows off like she's so cool and so hot and she's disgusting. She's the most disgusting creature. Oh, monsters. What can you do with them, man? Eh? Don't listen to Top 40. That's what you can do. <laughs> what did I tell you? She's a bully. Like, Beyonce is a bully. This, uh, somebody who went on tour with her spoke out about how she treats, how she treated her. And like, she's a bully. And like, look, of course, I'm not toxic. I'm not a bully. I'm not poisonous. So your brainwashing capabilities are not dangerous as fuck. Like she treats people like they're scum, like they're nothing. And apparently Jay-Z has the smallest dick in hip hop. Apparently. Apparently. <laughs> no wonder Nas makes fun of him so much. I always wondered why, like, when Nas speaks about Jay-Z, it's so funny. Like, oh, God, he hates them. <sighs> Whoa, Hearth and Home in reverse. There is definitely a jealous little bitch. And apparently, Beyonce is jealous of people who live in apartment buildings who have no money. Because apparently her life isn't, isn't, isn't good enough. It's just not good enough. I'd rather be poor and living in the hood again. Ha! Yeah, okay. You're like, you would trade places with me. Doubt it. Doubt it. Somebody got killed the other day on the fucking building beside me. Like, really? You want to switch with me? Yeah, no, you wouldn't. I thought you'd already been there. I thought you got out of the hood, right? Ha! Fucking loser. He ain't even go to class, Bueller. I even knew the guy that helped Drake make his original album. He made it in his basement. I used to grow weed with him. He was like, uh, Drake's like my son. I'm like, no, really? Like, these people think like, they're so fucking cool. Like, where did you come from? Oh, yeah, that's right. You came from Ajax. Oh, yeah, that's right. You came from nowhere. And now you think you're something. Why? Because you live in a fucking city? Really? You got some money? You ain't nothing. Oh, God. See, Top 40 pisses me off. Like, it really does. It's just brainwashing individuals. Like, it's just... Ugh. Okay. Can we get back into the reading? Yes, we can. This is why I'm never going to get monetized by YouTube. Guaranteed. They don't want to hear my mouth. <laughs> they don't want to hear how I hate everybody that's popular. <laughs> I'm evil. Well, I'm, I am not evil. I reveal evil. Like this bully right here. Evil. Okay. In, doesn't want to leave the house. Doesn't want to leave the home. Okay. Don't think they're toxic. And this bully has been lucky. Ooh, that's why we got back off in soap opera. This person can't act anymore. See why I start talking about celebrities? It's because people think that they are them.
and they think they can treat people like they're the queen. And it's like, why would, why, why, why do you want to treat people so badly? Money, no money. Why? Right? Why? Well, I'm going to tell you why. This person is not allowed to act anymore. They have to stop being a bully. They don't, they obviously have to leave somewhere and they don't want to because they don't feel like what they've done is grounds to remove somebody from a home or a house or a family or a situation right like people think that they are allowed to play dirty and kick people when they're down in order to get what they want and sure yeah it happens they'll they'll get what they want but it's not gonna last and you know however long it does last it's gonna be such a quick burnout right it might go the strongest brightest flame ever but then poof it's gone Right, because things that don't last aren't are, are quick burnouts. Like they, they were never supposed to last. They were built off a lie. They were built off something that was either supposed to teach you a lesson in so many different ways. Really, that's uh, really all I can say is like it was just supposed to most likely teach you a lesson, right? And and people who play dirty, people who bully people, i.e., um, singers and pop stars that that are told to sing these songs that get into your head so bad that you end up singing them for days on end it's they're they're trying to get something into your head they're trying to brainwash you in some way and this bully most likely did that right they they got their toxicity inside of you right because this was your hearth and your home this is where something that was supposed to be safe for you and warm for you and supportive for you and a place where you could go and they they jeopardized that they jeopardized that because they were they were on some lucky streak and i mean obviously bullying you got them things because they're most likely being fed by something so dirty and so demonic and so dark that that entity gives it presence when it deliberately hurts people because it wants to see people hurt people like hurt people that's why they say hurt people hurt people because the second that something gets inside of you and it hurts you then you want to go and hurt the next person right and then that person goes and hurts the next person like like that's what demons want to see i don't know if you've ever seen fallen the movie fallen with denzel washington but it's like one of the best ways of how a demon or a devil latches onto something it's just simply by touch Right, which is like why I do not go into big crowds. I try not to ever touch people when I'm, you know, when I'm around, if I'm shopping or if I'm doing something, because you have no idea what's on them. You have absolutely no idea what they're carrying. You have no idea the demons that are at their door. You had, you just have no idea. So why touch them? Why, why touch people in general? That's just gross, right? So this person's like this person because they were in your home, they were in your house, and they were in your home, and they were in your heart somehow. Um, they were often able to touch you. And by touch, siphoned everything from you. I really hope you don't hear that. A really loud truck just went by. Right? So it's like they have to stop acting. Right? And, and I don't even think they've been doing a good job acting. But they have to stop acting because they're a bully. And bullies get found out. Like, they do. I recently read this child's book. Um by rl stein about bullies i accidentally rented it from the library i did not know what i was renting i was so excited to rent things from the library that i read this book and i had to read it because you know once you get it you just might as well read it right that guy give a shit large print easy read that's my kind of book and uh, i learned all about bullies I learned how, you know, bullies are the ones that, that, that really get into you and hurt you the most. They're the ones that scar you the most. They're the ones that, you know, this one guy in school for like six years straight, he, well, that's not right. Two, okay, for an entire year straight, I was bullied at the school so much. So I'm like trying to remember what he did. I had this yellow jacket that my mother got from God knows what Goodwill or side of the road or fucking uncle or cousin. And it was too big for me. It was huge. I was in grade three. And this guy used to, he was in grade eight. So I should say like grade three and a grade eight. And he used to yell bus at me every day. He called me bus. 
And like, I was little, like I was this little tiny thing that, and this jacket went like to the ground. And then like what I, I kind of flipped it, you know, 20 years later. And I was like, you know, like that guy acknowledged me every day. He said hello to me every day. He didn't talk to anybody else. He just came straight for me. And I actually saw him at a Toronto Maple Leafs game once, like a few years ago, my sister and I won tickets. Well, she won them. And, and there, there he was standing in line. And they always say like, if a bully, if a bully did actually bully you, you will cross their paths one day. And he was in line with his brother, Dominic and Massimo. He was in line with his brother and they stared at me and my sister for like a half an hour straight. And I was like, how much do you think those guys regret what they did to us in, in, in fucking grade school? Like, and now we're face to face with them and like, they won't even say anything. They're just gonna sit there and stare. Like my sister and I are pretty attractive people. Like she's she's a very attractive girl. And, and you know, th them just standing there staring at us. I was like, you know, this is, this is where it kind of bites people in the ass because you might not have had it growing up. You might have been like, you know the 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 little person on the on or the big person on the little bus or you know the kid that had ripped clothing and and poor and gross and dirty and you got made fun of and it's like you get to see those people 20 30 years later and it's like the roles are so reversed that you're like oh is there anything like that you would like to say to me today right like you know now that we're older and we're in a crowd full of people and i'm not by myself what what was it that you used to call me what what was it back in the day oh yeah that's right bus right like i didn't say anything to him because i know i just would have made him shit his pants i get so aggressive and like i've i've given my sister that aggression so if one of us doesn't control ourselves that we'll end up in jail and i've never been arrested so let's just knock on wood like that that does not need to happen. I don't need to freak out and get arrested. <laughs> like, actually, I did get arrested once. Because <laughs> I stole my stepdad's car for molesting me. And then I got grounded. And then my mom stopped grounding me because she knew that I did it for a reason. She just didn't want to admit it. Anyways. Oh, you know, bullies under your roof. Like, that's, that's a bully. You know, like, he was in my school. Where are you supposed to go? When you have to go to the same place every day, like, what are you supposed to do? Right? Where are you supposed to go? How, where do you hide? What do you do? Like, and that's why kids and people become such introverts because they don't, there is nothing you can do unless you're going to choose to get violent and snap on the person. You basically just got to bend over and just, you know, forget that it's happening. Like, I mean, honestly, bullies are what they do to you and how they get into you. It's so bad that like you, you live with that forever. Like it just doesn't go away. Well, because somebody says it goes away. Oh yeah. You'll feel better in a little bit. Oh, why? Because uh, you're the one that bullied me and, and you don't want to admit it. And you just think it's going to go away because it's just easy peasy and it didn't mean anything to you. And it just ruined my life, which is what usual does. Like, doesn't mean anything to you, but of course it's going to crush me. Right? It's like, those are the people that hurt you. Doesn't mean anything to them, but fucking ruins your everyday life. Like, thanks for the present. A shit every day on my front porch. Awesome. So it's like, this actor has to stop. I'm trying to figure out where, where we're going now with this reading here. Everything in reverse. Keys on a ring. Yeah, I almost feel like it's decision time. You know, it's it's decision. It's it's decision time to to I don't know expose this person or to uh, you know have this person stop interfering in your life. Seduction in reverse, and to stop being um, it's passion in reverse. Like it, it's it's very intense energy and and this bully is nothing like you this person is nothing like you and and they're around you and they're in you and and they probably change you they, they probably make you a certain way and that's not how you are right this this person like i said they got on a lucky streak they 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 somehow this is an abuser this is a hater 
that doesn't think that they do anything wrong and like that's the worst you know like that's where you have to just almost stand up for yourself and be like stop lying i mean if it makes you look crazy it makes you look crazy i mean at this point in time what do you have to lose like that's what i always try to ask people is like what do you have to lose right because if you can really answer that question it'll help you with with you know having people leave your life and 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 gracefully accepting that people have to move on because they do and you can't hold people in your life forever right especially when you're changing and clearly you have to make a decision to stop this abuser this hater this troublemaker in your life that just seems to be causing too much chaos for you it's like you have to stop it now you have to get this person away from you because it, like I said, it's this, this, this train they've been running on is just pure luck. It's just pure luck that they got to do what they did to you. That's all it was. They probably tried a million different people and it didn't work. And then all of a sudden it worked with you and they went, Oh, I can manipulate. I can hate and abuse. And they're right under my roof. yeah great twin flames this is definitely a union with somebody this was something that needs to come into balance now i feel like you're probably moving forward and it's like yes look at that the dragonfly there's something new coming into your life and and you're ready to heal and change this so it's time to turn on the light in the really dark room to this person to this bully that's under your roof i mean they could be anybody right i don't know who they are but they're in your home somehow however that makes sense to you and they don't look toxic and they probably don't appear toxic because you probably don't truly understand what a bully is and that's the thing is like people it's, it's not just making fun of you it's 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 acting more superior above you um, giving you a suggestion and if you don't take it, they get angry with you. It's, it's a lot of ultimatums. It's a lot of do this or get out or, you know, um, comply with what we say or send in your reg resignation, right? It's very, it's very aggressive. It's very abrasive. Somebody once called me abrasive. I didn't like it, but Maybe I am. But it's because I was raised like that. That's the thing. It's hard to... How can you be all soft-hearted when you weren't raised by soft-hearted people? I was raised by assholes. By know-it-alls. By headstrongs. By... Don't listen to them. They're kids. They don't fucking know anything. By those kind of people. Alcoholics. Drunks. Fucking lazy-ass fucking losers. So, like, how can I be this bright life coach... When that's not how I was raised. I was raised rough. So I'm rough. That's the way it works. All right? So, but I've also changed dramatically from getting away from these toxic people under my roof. You haven't gotten away from this person. This person's still poisoning you. But you don't want them to poison you anymore. It's like you have to get away from people that are in a different level or paradigm than you. Right? Like if you're starting to see the effects of bullying and abuse on people, then when somebody says something to you in your family, you're probably going to go head to head with them and they're going to say, what? This is how it always is. Go away. People don't want to change, especially old people, especially people that are set in their ways. They're not going to change anything. Right. But it's like if you actually seriously really want to change and you want to give yourself. You want to give yourself this toast but you haven't, I feel like getting rid of this drama queen, I mean, somebody can only lie so much. And if they're never going to tell the truth, then be open to your changes and slowly wipe them away and just distance yourself. No one's saying you have to stop talking to somebody altogether, but if you learn boundaries and you learn to keep people away as opposed to just doing stuff for somebody all the time out of, you know, obligation, then I'm, I'm pretty sure you can probably get this person out of your house pretty quickly. 
but I don't know that for sure. So, where are we at? Whoa, almost 20 minutes. Um, Sag, I hope this helps. Um, yeah, somebody, somebody definitely hurt you. And I think it's time to make healthy choices for yourself. And let, let this person know that it's time to go. Hope it helps. Peace.